approaching the one minute mark in the count now t minus one minute and the astronaut crew are gibson and pogue just about completed their pre-flight preparations bill pogue just brought up the spacecraft battery they're online now and they're giving extra electrical power to the spacecraft at liftoff and they also act as a backup to the fuel cells last action taken by the crew just being done now by spacecraft commander gerald carr at t minus 45 seconds and uh, he made the final guidance alignment that done from the spacecraft. T minus 28 seconds and continuing to count. Launch vehicle now on internal power. Status board shows all stages on internal power on the flight batteries. T minus 18 seconds. T minus 16. Count continuing to go smoothly. T minus 13. We'll look for an ignition at T minus 2.1 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, we have, we have a liftoff. Liftoff, the engine is building up to 1.6 million pounds of thrust, and Skylab is moving slowly off the pad. It's cleared the tower. Very car, beautifully, aren't we? That's perfect transmission. Great communication. Mark 25 Beautiful seconds. Sight. Roger, CDR. 30 seconds, pitch and roll program started. Skylab now maneuvering to its proper flight path attitude. Mark, 35 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude. Mark, 40 seconds, given a green light by range safety. Mark, 45 seconds, given pressure leaving. Adjusting, uh, Roger. She looks good so far. Oh, that's it's beautiful. Just perfect. Roll complete, pitch profile. We're getting that maximum dynamic pressure there. That, that Have point. you seen your feet wet and everything's looking real good? Copy, feet wet. Mark, one minute, 12 seconds. I'd call out from Capcom Dick Truly. Says Skylab now capable of water, water landing. There's the old con. One minute, 18 seconds. That's how you tell where the guts of that uh, point Skylab, were. Skylab uh, passing through a period of maximum aerodynamic pressure now. What a beautiful sight. Mark, ah, one minute, 30 seconds. You haven't seen one of those in a long time, Walter. No, sir. One minute, 35 seconds pass through Max Q. Skylab still flying steady and stable on all eight engines. You're getting a beautiful picture on your television set. Roger, Jerry. And by the naked eye here and an absolutely perfectly blue sky, magnificent sight. Mark, one minute, 54 seconds. The status check and mission control by flight director Phil Schaffer. Go, no, go for staging. Given a go for staging. Now, have Houston, you're looking good. You're go for staging. Roger. Mark, two minutes, four seconds. Coming up now on engine shutdown and staging. Skylab now 22 nautical miles in altitude, 21 nautical miles downrange. Hmm. We've never seen one like this with the naked eye, I don't think. Just, just breathtaking. Look at Roger. this boom coming out. Outboard's 2-1. There's the staging. They're staging. Engine shut down. You can see it from here with the naked eye as well as that great picture you've got on television. S-4B has ignited. 2 minutes 35 seconds, 36 nautical miles. Skylab Houston, the thrust looks good on S-4B. Roger, look so those pins Houston. did their job. They surely did. Second staging on time. Car Gibson Pogue now riding on a good sta uh, second stage engine coming up now on launch escape tower jettison. 43 nautical miles in altitude. Yeah. Now you Roger see that. Tower jettison, your mode two. Great picture. A great picture of that big launch tower, that launch escape tower that would, uh, on that earlier stage of the flight, pull the command module free from the rocket, so that it could, uh, so that it could parachute safely back to a landing in the ocean, not need it any longer. Now the command module can separate itself and fly its way back. In fact, what a picture today. Smooth as glass, Houston. <laughs> Smooth Roger, as glass. We had a beautiful picture on TV all the way. It looks real good. Mark, three minutes, 34 seconds. Uh, Commander Jerry Carr reporting to Dick Truly. The flight is smooth as glass. Meanwhile, the first stage and launch escape tower falling away now, heading for their own uh, final splash. Skylab splash down. Status check and mission control by flight director Phil Schaffer for four minutes. They're about uh, almost 100 miles downrange now. 65 nautical miles in altitude. 
They're making about uh, 5,000 miles yeah, an hour on no, a little more than that. Roger, Houston, looks good here. Our coverage of this final Skylab flight will continue in a moment. 